Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2019 here in Vanuatu, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Abdi Ahmed, who is the General Manager for the National Communications Authority for Somalia. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Great to see you. Pleased uh, to be here. Now, I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about uh, inclusive connectivity, which is very much the theme for this year's uh, Global Symposium for Regulators. You're one of the newest regulatory authorities, Somalia, uh, that's been set up. In, in your opinion, how can one best achieve inclusive connectivity? As you mentioned, it's one of the topical issues that we are here for uh, in Vanuatu and the Global uh, Regulatory Symposium. And connectivity is becoming a really uh, big issue globally. Uh, more so in Somalia, it's a country that's coming out of a civil conflict and rebuilding its institutions. And in that process, uh, and in the world, the digitized world that we live in today, it's, very, it's critical that people are connected to the internet because the globe, the globe is connected. So for people to participate in the global economy, they have to have that connectivity. But connectivity by itself is not enough. It has to be inclusive. It has to be affordable. And, and people have to have access to it. And all those are, require a lot of thinking from regulators, from policymakers, uh, in terms of infra, building infrastructure, making infrastructure available, and in terms of uh, people having digital skills to access content. Uh, content itself is a big part of, of, of that. And also reaching not only uh, a cities and major population centers where operators can make you know, uh, financial gain, but also extending to rural areas and remote areas, and also, also to uh, people who are disadvantaged in many ways, whether it's disability or, or underserved communities. So it's huge and it, it, you have to look at it from different angles. And as a regulator, we have to think about how we extend that connectivity and make it inclusive and, 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 and use the policymakers also to guide us to get connected communities. I was going to ask you as a regulator, what are the, the modern challenges facing you today? Right. Well, I mean, in our case, it's a unique story. Uh, in most, as, as you know, the deregulation and building regulatory authorities around the world has become a common practice. But traditionally, the way it started was government owned networks, government owned uh, infrastructure, and they privatized that, those networks to take advantage of competition and, and the private sector. Uh, in our case, the industry grew before the government was capable of regulating. So you have a powerful uh, operators that are in, in, our, in our country who have not been regulated in the past. So you can imagine how difficult it is to come in into a marketplace where people are not used to regulations and ask them to do things that they took for granted uh, for doing for a long time uh, by themselves. So, it's, so we are trying to build uh, so one of the ways we're trying to really uh, get leverage within the, the regulatory sphere is to get the, to build confidence and to build relationships with the operators and make them understand that, the, you know, light touch regulation is, is the best interest for them. Uh, it brings order to the marketplace. It ensures and, and gives them assurances to their investments in the industry so they can invest and, and have the assurance that you know they will be treated well and the regulatory aspects of it will be covered. So instead of being afraid of regulator, we want them to work with the regulator so it's to build the networks, to get access to people. So it's a win-win situation where when you build the networks and you get access to people, companies make money, people get access, and we make sure in areas where the operators may not make money necessarily to incentivize through maybe universal fund and things like that and uh, use innovative technologies and encourage them to use innovative technologies to have the reach and inclusivity that we need. How is ITU helping you on your journey? Well, ITU has been called critical to our growth and establishment. Uh, the ITU, particularly the, the, the development of uh, Bureau, has been very instrumental in, in, in getting us the assistance we need. We recently have a uh, working relationship and we have a, uh, an agreement with the ITU. We have a frameworks agreement with the ITU 
where they have been helping us with the policy development, as well as now we're working on different projects within, with, with the, uh, the DEET sector to build our capacity and, 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 and bring knowledge to our people, but also to build some of these policy areas and policy frameworks and regulatory frameworks. So we're getting a lot of assistance from them and, and we really appreciate that and, and we, we hopefully will continue to, to work with them and also with uh, other regulators in, 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 in our region but also globally. Now you've come across the world essentially to be, to be here for this event. I just wanted to find out what uh, do you hope will be some of the key takeaways uh, that uh, you'll be able to uh, take back with you? Well, as, as the, one of the new, newest regulators, it's very important for us to not reinvent the wheel. So because our, our regulators have been around, they've been meeting and have conferences for, for many, many years now, 20 years. And uh, for us, it's a learning opportunity, learning, you know, to learn from the experiences, uh, develop best practices, so we can have some things that we can take away back home and apply. And also, it's a, a great forum for exchange of ideas and how people are dealing with issues of connectivity, issues of inclusivity, and things like that. So we, we view it as a, a great uh, venue and a great uh, uh, summit for us to be, uh, to be around to learn from our counterparts. Finally, uh, inclusive connectivity, is it, it, do you think, the future of regulation? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in, you, in, to really get the connectivity and make it inclusive, you need not only the, the policies and the policy uh, frameworks that, that go like, but also the regulatory uh, interventions. So the regulators have responsibility to where the private sector and the public, private sector is not function, efficient enough to, to come in and, 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 and help and, and, and incentivize private sector to provide that inclusive, inclusive connectivity. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much indeed for, for sharing this, a few insights into uh, uh, your, your side of the world and, and into your perspective. And we hopefully will catch up with you again at the next year, sir. Uh, thank you very much and thank you for the opportunity. And I hope fully in the future we will have uh, sessions like this. And uh, I hope others will, will learn from our experience as well. Yeah, thank you very much indeed.